Hey, hey, you knocked that off. Hey. Hey. Hello, beautiful. Hi everybody, it's the Gypsy Woman here again. Today is part three to how to teach a horse how to lunge. And today, what we're gonna do is a little bit of review with Kent, and then we're going to actually teach him to back up. Okay, so let's get to it. warmed up a little bit and he actually did really good. The next thing that we're actually going to work on is teaching him to move the hindquarters over, okay? Like pivoting on the front but moving the hindquarters over, okay? So let's get to that. Basically what I want him to do is when I put my hand on his back, Okay, and click to him. I want him to move his hindquarters over, but I want him to keep his front end still. Give the cue your ask, okay, and then you tell, click. Look at his feet. As soon as his foot goes that way one step, then that's when I'll release him. Start swinging. Right there. Perfect. Good. Good job. Alright. So, tell him good job. Good job. And make sure you put your horse in between because you don't want your horse to move over right when you put your hand on his back. You want him to move over actually this time. You want him to move over when you click. Okay, so it's kind of just going to be like. Whenever you touch your horse and ask them to move over, they should move over. They shouldn't be like pushing up against you, resisting your hand, okay? Good. Ooh, that was really good. He did that all on his own. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's try again. You don't want to, don't, if your horse is doing really good, okay, take that opportunity not to push him to do more. Take the opportunity if your horse is doing really good and getting the right answer right off the bat, take that opportunity to reward them as much as possible, okay, only, and only do little baby steps, even though he probably could do more. I want to try to keep it just at little baby steps, one step at a time until I'm sure that he understands this cue means move my hiney over, okay? Good job. Good job. Yeah, that's very good. Come over here a little bit so you can see. Camera's super far away. And then after your horse is getting it really good, then you can go ahead and ask for a couple more steps, all right? But do as much, 
Yes, you should be fine. Do as much as your horse is ready for, okay? So him, I think I'm gonna start asking for a half circle pivot, okay? But you don't wanna release unless he does a full half circle pivot, okay? Or a full quarter circle pivot, however much you're gonna do, okay? But you don't wanna release him if he moves his front feet at all. You want them to really plant down and not move at all. So that right there, this thing right here, that's actually like a little tiny tuff of dirt that got turned up because he did such a perfect circle and that foot did not move. That's exactly what you want. Now that he's really got that down and he's, he knows exactly what I want him to do, I'm gonna ask for the other side. Do a couple steps, all right? Like, even though he's doing the other side beautifully, um, you don't go pushing it too far on when you switch sides okay because it's still something different and still something that's a little new so still do it the same way do baby steps okay Good. now what we'll do is a mixture of the two like I'll do some to the right, some to the left, okay? Um, be sure when you do this, okay, that your horse is pivoting on the right foot, all right? You don't want him, and there's actually a reason for this, okay? Because you know how I'm always talking about the right brain, okay? Well, when your horse is actually listening to you, and doing what you're asking, he's going to pivot on the foot that's closest to you, okay? So like if I were to ask him to move his hind quarter to over here, this foot right here, his left foot, should actually be the one that's pivoting, okay? Not the foot farthest from you. If the foot farthest from you is pivoting, that means that he's backing up away from you. And that's not what you want, okay? You want him to be we're working in close quarters together. He's not trying to get away from me. That's not what we're doing. We're working in close quarters together and staying close to each other. Okay, so that's why he has to pivot on the foot that's closest to you because in his brain, if he's trying to get away from you and he doesn't want to be with you, he's gonna pivot on the foot that's uh, farthest from you because it's like a backing up motion trying to get away from you. But if he, pivots on the one that's closest to you he doesn't want to get away from you he's staying very close to you and trying to do what you're asking him to oh stop it he's biting the lead rope all right so let's do a mixture of the two is like kind of in a good frame of mind and he's understanding um, moving away from pressure but not moving away from you okay now we can teach him the back up oh stop eating grass so my cue is going to be when I say back and click okay and walk towards him I want him to do that on his own and I want him to back up without me pulling on him okay I want him to do it on his own without any 
you know, without that pulling. Let me get him in the right position. See how useful that is? You can just like touch your horse and put him right where you want. And this is where you're swinging the rope comes in, okay? I say back, back. Now, don't aim for your horse's face. Back. chest. Back. 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 Good. Good boy. Good boy. At that time, I, I didn't even, I almost didn't have to swing the rope. Like, he knew what I was asking him to do, which is really great. Back. Back. Good. Good boy. Good boy. So now what we'll do is we'll walk him forward and then ask him the back. And then back. 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 Good boy. Good boy. And that was pretty good. The goal though was actually to get him to back up with literally nothing. No pulling. No um you know, rope, no clicking, trying, I mean like, the clicking will probably have to do for a while till he really starts getting it, but the goal is to get him the back when I say back and walk towards him. proud of him when he does the like when he does really good somebody's hungry amazing how much warmer the barn is all right so Kent did really well today so we call it quits and now he's eating his dinner and all that jazz. He did pretty good today. Okay, so he's on his way slowly. Um, he did start learning how to back up. So hopefully next time he'll remember a little bit more and uh, we'll be able to teach him something new. The next thing that we will be teaching is probably going to be how to side pass while lunging. I'm going to take care of Mr. Kent and let him finish his dinner and put him out. I got a bunch of other horses that I gotta go out and give them their hay and whatnot. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. See ya.